Hello, heroes and villains. Welcome to Multiverse. Want to see a neat trick? I can talk without moving my lips. But the homecoming event is finally on the live server. Let's take a look. Dear friends, there is a Teen Titans homecoming and you are invited. It is a cheering up for me because my horrible sister Blackfire has sentenced me to another year of exile from our planet Tamaram. It is certainly working because I hardly feel the homesickness at all. Please, you must join in on the festivities. So if we take a quick look at the on-duty menu, we don't have the event just yet. We have to go talk to Starfire first. I should probably go directly to Titan's Tower. Uh, there's probably a warp that can take us there. So we could warp uh, directly to the oncoming uh, Titan's Island. But first, uh, let's, let us go to the House of Legends. I already made a video about the various uh, rewards we can get from Homecoming. I'll put a link to that video in the description down below. But here you can see on the hero side, we have uh, the hero Turning version of the vendor. Great prizes. And we have the same thing on the evil villain side. Not sure why there's a bit of uh, music and a dance floor on the villain side. Oh well. Now we're going to talk to Starfire, but we actually have to talk to Starfire on Titan's Island. I'm so excited for the homecoming games and the party. See you there. Basically all she tells us is go to the party. So we could use the warp, uh, you saw there's a menu in the warp menu we could go, we could use to go there. But there's also a little uh, teleporter over here. Uh, let's use the teleporter because why not? So you see the NPCs on uh, Titan's Island, but uh, before we can actually do anything, also we have the recent vendor. So the vendor we just saw in the House of Legends, we have the same vendor over here. So let's talk to Starfire. Your presence here is a most wonderful gift. So wonderful, I almost forget my sadness over how Blackfire has exiled me from Tamaran for yet another year. Please, have fun playing the games. So once we talk to Starfire, there's a mission uh, from Raven and there's a mission from... Uh, Miss Martian we can take. Uh, let's see if we have access to the on duty menu just yet. Uh, not yet. So we really have to talk to, to play the mission with Miss Martian and with Raven before we have access to the on duty menu. So let's do that right now. Tamaranians are attacking Titan's Island. Can you take care of it? You know, discreetly. I don't want to bum out Starfire. So we have to rescue to capture civilians. Uh, let's do that. We'll come back for Raven uh, a bit later. Uh, that way it'll be a bit more clear which objective we're doing. Normally I would pick up uh, all the missions and do all the objectives more or less at the same time. But uh, today we're going to make an exception. And obviously today being the first day, uh, we might compete a little bit with uh, other players for diverse objectives. Although we're still early in the day, so most people are probably uh, still at work or at school. So tonight there'll probably be a lot more people. Safe and sound. So we need to we need to stop uh, thirty civilians. Please help. And as uh, with most event, you can see my combat rating is down to thirty-four. All the events do that. All the events uh, lower your combat rating to combat rating thirty-four. Although if you are a character that's level 34, and if you are a character that's level 34 but that has a backup, henchman, uh, orbital totally strikes and all that good stuff, uh, that's quite a difference. No, we need just one more. Can I pay you? So let us go back uh, to see our friend Miss Martian, and then we'll go talk to Raven. Uh, sadly the Raven mission. Uh, I didn't like it too much when I tried it on the test server, but uh, we have no choice. We have to play it right now. Yes, Blackfire's minions aren't going to ruin our homecoming. So it gave us uh, three prize tickets for people who don't know. The prize tickets is the currency for this episode. And in case uh, you guys did not see my previous videos, here we have the new version of our friend Superboy. Uh, he's much brighter. On the test server, it was uh, much, much darker somehow. I kind of like it better like this. So let us talk to Raven. They left me in charge of the party games. I promise, they're all fun. So we have to play the oncoming games. 
Uh, sadly, uh, well, let's go down. So you'll see those little uh, kiosks over here. Into the turret to start. So you have to go into the turrets over here. On my signal, target drones will start flying around. And we have to worth more points. Get ready and start. And we have to fire a whole bunch of drones. Very impressive. Uh, I don't know. Uh, sadly, the camera is uh, a little too close for my taste. Uh, that was bad. And there's a pretty big cooldown, so uh, you don't really want to miss. And we need 50 of those, so it'll take a while. Uh, where are they? There's, there's two abilities you can use to attack. Again, as you saw, the cooldown uh, is pretty long on those abilities. Not sure why sometimes I see the red dots in front of me, and when I look, uh, there's no uh, no NPCs. Uh, it doesn't matter. We had a similar mission in the... I think it was... Uh, I think it was one of the uh, Amazon Fury Part 3 missions, where we had to use a similar gun. Hated that mission, and I can tell that I don't like this one very much more. So we're up to a bit more than half. We'll just continue. We don't need to be that precise, so as soon as, as, soon as you shoot, and pretty much in the... Oh, actually this one didn't work at all. So the targeting doesn't seem to be that precise. The game's almost over. Oh, didn't realize uh, we had some sort of time limit. That's it. Good work out there. Ah, my bad. So let's try again. Uh, there should be another one there nearby. So sadly, I think uh, this mission will get uh, will get old uh, pretty quick. Ah, oh, there's no. Let's change you into something a little wilder. Oh, there's actually different uh, objectives. Oh, that's kind of nice. And now just hit the targets with whatever makes sense. The more you hit, the better the score. With whatever makes sense. Toss pull, toss pull. Don't forget to change it up, like me, yo. Bowl at the ground. Oh, okay, I get it. Makes sense, right? The smaller the target, the bigger the point. First time I try this one. So if I look kind of lost, it's because I am. Oh, there it is. So don't press number three, it changes you back. And... We'll get there, I promise. Ooh, nice shot. Uh, we're pretty much done, so don't need to continue. Uh, let's see how it works. So that was it, I suppose. So let's go back to see Raven. When I tried it on test, I only tried the guns. I did not try the other games. So obviously, there's more than just one type of game. So try to get the game Dealing you feel more comfortable playing. Sucks. So we get the three more price tickets. Oh, it is lovely to see my friends having such a good time. Please join us inside Titan's Tower, where I've been told the real party is going to commence. So once we play the solo missions and get the message from Starfire, then we have access to the 4 player mission from the on duty menu. So if we take just a quick look I again at the, uh, the rewards. Great carnival prizes in exchange for your tickets. 
So you can see from the solo missions, we get the three three price tickets each. I assume the four player mission will give us a four price tickets. So we'll probably get 10 price tickets per day. And uh, you can see for the accessory, it's going to be 100 price tickets. The same for the, uh, the collection, the earth styles. Will, and uh, the head styles will be 50 crown, uh, price tickets each. And then of course, there's all the base items and six price tickets each. Uh, one thing I strongly suggest, you could decide to use replay badges and replay the missions over and over again. One way to be able to farm to get all the base items, use your alternate characters. Play with your alternate characters and then uh, purchase those items with your alternate characters. And then you can use your shared bank to give it to your main character. So this is our first look at the homecoming event on the live server. A bit later today, I will play the 4-player mission. I guess we'll have to wait and see for that.